Yes. Mm -hmm. This nakedness? Yeah. I think Peter actually was wearing some sort of garment that would have covered his genitals. Yeah. But he had to put his coat on. Mm -hmm. And the other disciples came in a little ship, uh, for they were not far from land. <laughs> but as it were, 200 cubits dragging the net with fishes. <laughs> As soon as soon then as they were come to land, they saw a fire of coals there, uh, and fish laid thereon and bread. Ouch. <laughs> and Je Jesus saith unto them, Bring of the fish which ye have now caught. Ouch. Now, uh, this fish, yes. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, there's what's known as the Loch Ness Monster. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think it's in Scotland or something. Yeah. And then there's this uh, this place that I used to go to when I was very, very little where my grandparents would uh, vacation. Yeah. Something in Canada. They had some sort of sighting of a sea serpent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can't remember the actual name of it, but I think it starts with a P like Pogogoto or something like this. Yes. You know, I'm going to want to catch some fish today. Mm -hmm. Now, I think that somebody's been using some genetics. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thinking that... Well, if we put this in them, right, we can be on them, and then we can screw up, yes, their actual sexuality, poop. because they don't know what they're doing, they're, 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 ouch. Mm -hmm. Now, um, this idea of using the genetics of anything uh, prehistoric, yes, could you call the Queen of England? Mm -hmm. I want to know the genetics uh, from the Loch Ness Monster. Yes. From that Canadian sea serpent. Poop. From the Edith Siding in Clown County. Yes. And then eat them. That seems to think, well, it doesn't matter what sexual nerve endings you use. It could be male on male. Yes. It could be female on female. Poo. It could be anything, really. <laughs> as long as I can be on them. Mm -hmm. Now, it could uh, be, yes, that the navies ouch, of the world, yes, could you call the Queen of England? Because I think that somebody's been using some genetics, yes, that gave law enforcement the idea that they don't have to enforce the laws, yes, because they've been eating substances that were made from the tail of a sea serpent poop. Now, uh, as an American citizen, these fish uh -huh, that uh, you have caught, yes. You know, there's always that mythological place known as Atlantis where mermaids and mermen, yes, that had inflatable tits, yes, or uh, hard dicks, yes. They were going to be in control of humanity. Mm -hmm. Now, I know all of this is mythological unless you have knowledge, yes, that you are having sex with an actual merman, poop. Or a mermaid. Oh, oh, oh. See, some in the family think, yes, mm -hmm, that if I were to have sex with a merman, I could have anything that Atlantis promises. Yes. But I thought these uh, mythological beings, yes, I thought they really wanted to kill humanity. And then there's a mermaid. Oh, can you inflate your tits? <laughs> now, uh, this idea of the purse, yeah. I think it came from a fish, and I wanted to catch all the fish today, yes, because your family that said oh, that you don't exist, oh, that there are no sea serpents, there's no dinosaur, <laughs> there's nothing that any nation of the world, oh, 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 uh -huh. um, eat us, mm -hmm. eat them, mm -hmm. Loch Ness, yes, and any other sea serpent of the seven seas, mm -hmm. I'm just wanting you to know that it'd be so much easier to kill you, poop. Now, um, there seemed to be this idea, right, that we're going to violate the laws of the United States, yes, mm -hmm. we're not going to get persecuted or prosecuted, yes, because we did have sex with a merman, did you, Mr. Big Dick? Poop! Now, I'm going to want to catch the fish today. <laughs> and for any of you that happen to be on land and you should not be, yes, I'm going to want to put you back in the ocean with or without your body parts. <laughs> you know, there's always a question exactly how do you open the door 
to relieving yourselves of those family members that are not quite a person. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, there was Dr. Speculum. Pooch. We could always insert that device. Yep, open up that person. <laughs> Just leave it open so that there's nothing in there. <laughs> now, for the idea of using a speculum to open the purse, poop. It is possible to leave the purse open because of the use of a speculum. <laughs> now, this is a type of gynecological tool right now. Now, ooh, Mr. Merman, how do I? Well, I'm going to want the law enforced. Mm -hmm. And uh, if I do find out that Edith belongs to my family, yeah, as does eat them, yes, as does Loch Ness, ouch. And Pogogoda up there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the queen said, oh, I will take, yes, <laughs> from every royal family, any sea serpent that they, oh. Now, I just can't have life, la, 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 biathan making the decisions for the world, can I? Now, I'm going to want to speak to my sons. I'm going to want to use the courts. Yes. I want to talk to Marilyn about, um, her inhibitions? Yes, she does. You know, a lot of women, when they think about volunteering to give me babies, yes. Is there a reason why animals don't have sex through the nerve endings of people? Yes. They seem to produce offspring uh, that they thought was good for humanity, but was actually bad. Yes. I never want to have a beast, mm -hmm. a being, ouch, or any other thing, yes, on my sexual nerve endings while making babies. <laughs> see, let's say I seeded your food. <laughs> You're naked. <laughs> With, oh, a few other women that <laughs> wonder why it is that they feel such an attraction to each other, <laughs> knowing that I'm in the room. Yes. I think it would be better if we did not use animals to have sex through people. That means you, you little beast, <laughs> leprechaun, poop. You know, for all of those that said, well, we're just going to be on them and we're going to have sex through them. And then our genetics is going to affect their genetics. Yes. Today, I want your genetics off my genetics. Poop. And I want to know. <laughs> All the genetic testing. <laughs> yeah, you're fucked up in your brain. Do you understand that? Yes. Mm -hmm. You really have. <laughs> no, you are so. You know, have you ever seen Old Yeller? Yes. Mm -hmm. In fact, give me Walt Disney. Yes. All the actual movies made by Walt Disney because there was some very suggestive mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, propaganda, really. <laughs> Little Mermaid. You know, um, there's this idea, yes, uh -huh, that uh, you have rabies. Mm -hmm. Now, in the movie Old Yeller, yes, they had this really good dog. They did, but the dog did uh, get gored, yes, by a wild boar, got the rabies, yep, became rabid, poop. Now, for all of you that can't control your sexuality because you've been eating mutating food products because you've been seeding yourselves, yes, I'm going to want you put in prison, <laughs> Now, I know it's upsetting to you, okay, <laughs> but I want to speak to Marilyn. Yes, I want to reside with her and my sons, <laughs> and then I'm going to talk to her about eating certain foods that will cause her to lose her inhibitions. <laughs>